It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's Schools where we test science IQs. Test your own and play along with us today. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Greenbelt Elementary School, would you please say hello to Joshua Burton, Sean Grant, and Beatrice Markovich. And from Scotchtown Hills, here they are, Andres Moran, Stephen Nazako, and Emmanuel Velasquez. And now, here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left. They're worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and eventually 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. In the end of the two rounds, one of these two good-looking, talented teams will come back to play our game again and perhaps advance in this year's elementary competition. Let's make sure everything works properly before we start. Let's go to the red team. And Sean, would you try that buzzer? Looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Josh, and to Beatrice. Steve, try the green teams. Hey, OK over there as well. Good luck to you, Andres and Emmanuel. I just have to say congratulations just for being picked and for being here. You've already won. You're elite students, and uh, everyone's proud of you. Let's just have a good time. Let's have a good game, all right? We go alphabetically G before S. So Greenbelt and Sean, let's play the bowl. Zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, Dancing with the Stars, the insect edition, would feature these critters that do waggle dances to let their hive mates know Scotchtown Hills. A bee. The bees, where the nectar is. They do a waggle dance. Yeah. Carrie and Anaba, 10. Okay, go green. Um, body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if you are very close to your best buddy, you might say that you are joined at this bone where you find a ball and socket joint. You are joined at the what, Steve? Hip. Hip. You're joined at the hip. Absolutely right. Go. Green. Um, let's, um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, if you watch Despicable Me, you know who the minions are. They had their own movie. Some minions are Cyclopean because they have just one what? Scotchtown Hills? I. An eye. They have just one eye. Yeah. They're strange. I like their language. It's not really English. I don't know what it is. All right. Green, you're on a roll. Go. Um, Dateline Science for five. Dateline for five points. Team's a multiple choice question for you. 3.2 million years ago, our ancestor has recently been discovered had pretty buff arms. She was able to climb trees. Was her name that original Human being, 3.2 million years ago, was her name Lucy, Ethel, Eve, or Marge? Lucy. Steven. Lucy. No, yeah, absolutely, it is Lucy. Good. Guys, you got to get on the board. You got to push the buzzer. You got to take a chance, okay? Got to take a chance. Don't just sit there. Talk to each other. Go green. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, this familiar carnivorous plant is being poached in North Carolina in the swamps where it normally grows. Scott Sean Hills. Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap. What other one is there? Good. Go green. Um, zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. 
Teams, if you are Harry Potter fans, you know that the motto of Hogwarts is never tickle a sleeping one of these, especially if it's a Komodo. Scotchtown. A dragon. A dragon. Never, never, never tickle a sleeping dragon. Okay, that was the clue. As soon as I said Komodo, you should have pushed that buzzer. Right then. Right then. Go, Steve. Let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. All right, teams. Jimmy Neutron was a cartoon character. Dr. Proton is a character on the Big Bang Theory. And this other elementary particle in the atom is a comic book baddie. Electron. Scott John Hills. Electron. Electron, that's right. So you're sitting there telling yourself, he said proton, he said neutron. What's the only one left? It has to be electron. Talk to each other. Talk to each other. Go green. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline signs for 10 points. Teams, recently, this man said, we only have about a thousand years left on this planet before we have to leave it. Who said that? It was the physicist in the wheelchair who has ALS disease. Stephen, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, absolutely right. Yes, he himself has been on a lot of programs like The Simpsons and The Big Bang Theory. Okay, Green, go. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, your mobile phone, a lot of you have mobile phones, is also known as this kind of phone, not because it has a nucleus and a membrane, but because the transmitter area... Cell. The cell phone, absolutely right, good. We all call them cell phones. They're mobiles if you go to Europe. Go green. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, plants like mistletoe, and daughter's vine that is sometimes called witch's hair. Because they live on plants, they suck the nutrients out and give nothing back. They're like leeches and tapeworms, because, meaning they're this. They're parasites, they're parasites. Go green. Let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. All right, you're gonna have to know something about planets. All right, here we go. Starting at the sun. The first planet you would come to in the solar system that has a satellite is this one. Scott Sun Hills. Mercury? Not Mercury. Green belt? Beatrice, what you got? Mars. Earth. Earth. Mercury has no satellite, no moon. Venus has no moon. We got one. Mars has two. Go green. Um, science Pope Free for 10. Pope Free for 10 points. Teams, the town of Crisfield, Maryland is right next to Chesapeake Bay. It is built on over three feet of the discarded shells of these bivalves, which in some cases, if you open them up, have the only animal made precious. Stephen. Clams. Not clams. Green belt, the discarded shells from these bivalves, three feet thick. That's what Crisfield, Maryland is built on. Sometimes when you open these bivalves, bivalves you find the only animal produced precious stone. Pass the Beatrice. Oysters? Oysters, that's it. Yeah, you can find a pearl sometimes. All right. All right, you find a pearl of an answer there. You got on the board just before the buzzer. Good going there. Green belt right now at 60. Scotchdown Hills 110. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't you go away. Welcome back to Science. Well, thank you for spending part of your day with us here. We've got six outstanding young people here in this, our 31st year of competition in the Prince George's County Public Schools, and we're very proud of these players. It's hard sitting here under these lights, and except for just one player, the last time they did this was, well, never. So they're learning how to succeed, and they're doing very well. Let's talk to the team from Greenbelt, and Sean, tell us about Greenbelt. You really should be the green team with those green shirts over there. You kind of have that Christmas theme going on over there. Tell us about Greenbelt Elementary. Who's your principal? Miss Gaines is our principal. Yeah, absolutely. And she's out there rooting for you. And do you have sponsors on your team? Yeah, we have Miss Hollingsworth. And she is here, and I know she's prepared you guys well to be part of this competition. Sean, what grade are you in? Fifth. You're in fifth grade. I think you're all fifth grade. No, Beatrice is a fourth grader, right? And tell me, do you have any alternates on your team? We have Noah. Noah, and he'll be out with Miss Hollingsworth in just a few moments here. Tell me, Sean, I always like to ask schools, what is the best thing about Greenbelt Elementary? What do you like to brag about? You tell people, I go to Greenbelt Elementary and this happens there. 
Oh, I like to brag about how the teachers teach because they teach not only lessons about the subject but life lessons too. Boy, is that important, huh? Because you know you can know everything there is to know about photosynthesis and uh, diagramming a sentence, but if you don't have life skills, you're not going to make it very far. And uh, what a nice thing to say about your teacher, Sean. Thank you very much. What do you want to do someday? I said, called you coach before. You play football, don't you? Yes. Yeah. And you'd like to be an NFL player one day? Yes. But not for the hometown team. Where do you want to go? Ravens. Ravens. It's close enough. It's close enough. They're doing pretty well this year with their record. Um, but you have a fallback plan too, don't you? Yes. What's that? Well, I want to be an electrical engineer or a chemist or a physicist. Well, physicist. You know, you've got a lot of plans. Are you a well uh, thought out young man there? You got your life planned. You, uh, you got a good head on your shoulders and you're a good captain. You just want to get some more points, right? Yes. Second half, it's going to happen. All right, Beatrice, our fourth grader, you knew about that pearl. How do you know so much about science, Beatrice? Um, because I had so many great teachers and they um, taught me things that I never knew and those will forever stick in my head. Wow, what a nice, it's a beautiful advertisement for teaching and for, and for learning and uh, you've obviously learned all your lessons well. And where do you see yourself someday? What do you want to um, do? I want to do a lot of things, but the three main things are performing arts, zoology, and chemical engineer. Wonderful. Boy, just like Sean, you have a very wide variety of things. And you're so young yet. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to do. And I know you play the piano. You play the piano for a number of years, so you're musically talented. And you just uh, tell the audience at home about the dog you just got. Um, well, I just got a dog. Yasha and she's a guiding ice dog and we're training her to help people. Wow, what a wonderful, and dogs naturally want to help and uh, how lucky they are to have someone like you who's dedicated and it's a b black lab, right? Mm -hmm. Wonderful, nice to have you here Beatrice. And Josh, tell us about yourself. You're also into sports, yeah? What do you play? I like playing soccer. Yeah, are you on the team? Uh -huh. I used to be. Yeah, and you know what the nice thing about soccer is you can just go outside with a ball and you're there. You know, you can just pick it up and do it on the street. Tell me what you do in your spare time when you're not playing soccer. Well, I normally build Legos or I decide to draw something. Yeah, you told me about those Legos. What, what have you built out of Legos? Well, I built a helicopter and wow. I think a business. It's a business building. Okay, like a building, and those are pretty ambitious. Someday I hope you get to Legoland out there in California. You know, that's, uh, that's better than Disneyland if you're a Lego fan. Nice to have you with us. Scotchtown Hills, nice to have you here. Steve, nice to have you back again. You're in the captain's chair over there. What do you like about Science Bowl? Um, I don't know. It's like, um, it's like a good experience. It's like Gets you gets your competitive juices flowing, I guess. I like that. Those are competitive juices. That's a good way to phrase that. Tell me what you hope to do someday. Um, I would like to study the brain and yeah. how it works. And you'd like to go to Brigham Young University out there in Utah. Mm -hmm. They'd be very lucky to have you. And before we do any more personal things about you, Steve, Scott Sean Hills, it's up there in the Laurel area. Yep. Yep. And who's your principal? Miss Prevost. Wonderful. Out there rooting for you, and you have two sponsors here. Yep, Miss Taylor, Taylor and Miss Doris. Right, and the two Jennifers. Can't thank you enough. We were trying to count up how many years you've been involved in this program, and we're, we're up to 10, and it's probably more than that. Thank you for all the support you've given our program over the years, and, and Lisa, too, over at Greenbelt, all the work she has done to get everybody ready here today. Um, any alternates, Steve? I think you got three, don't you? What are their first names? Kari, Esther, and Noel. Wonderful. They're out there rooting for you, even though we can't hear them through the walls here. And best thing about Scotchtown Hills? Um, I don't know. They're, um, the classrooms are, I guess, like, they're like a good learning experience. They're, you're like free to say things, especially in like my science class, I guess. And you have to have freedom of expression. You can't be afraid. You can't hold back. You got to let teachers know who you are. They want to know what you're thinking. And if that's the kind of environment you have, you're in a good school. And I know you're in a good school. Emmanuel, tell us about yourself. You told me you played the oboe, huh? Yes. How long have you played that? Um, this is actually my first year playing the oboe, but I did play the clarinet last year. Yeah. Well, they're both woodwinds, yes. so there's some similarity there. And is there an orchestra or a band at Scotchtown Hills? Yes, sir. So you play in that, and I think the other guys join you there. And you're all wearing your white shirts, the uniform at the school there, uh, just like the nice matching green shirts over there at Greenbelt. Uh, Emmanuel, what do you want to do someday? Um, I would like to become a soccer player. 
And if I can't succeed with that, then I'd be a geologist or astronomer. Wow, so you've got some science inclinations there, and you're an athlete as well, and a musician. You're doing all the right stuff, young man. Keep it up. Andres, nice to have you here today. And you do a lot of things as well. Tell me what you do in your spare time. Well, I like to play my saxophone and play soccer, and sometimes I like to play basketball. Wow, so you, you guys have a lot in common over there. What do you think you're going to do someday? Um, I'd like to be a soccer player or um, an air and space engineer. Air and space engineer. All right. Well, you guys, uh, you've got your heads on straight, all of you, and you've got uh, your careers in mind. Right now, put your mind to the science bowl. Last correct answer came from the red team. So, Sean, let's start us out. Let's go. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. All right, teams. O Tannenbaum is a Christmas carol, which is really O Christmas tree, if you translate it. O Christmas tree, O Christmas tree, how lovely are thy what? Leaves. Not leaves, good try. O Christmas tree, O Christmas tree, how lovely are thy... Pastor Beatrice. Pine needles? Branches, branches. Good try, go red. Um... Let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points. Teams, four new chemical elements. Numbers 113, 115, 117, and 118 have now been put on this chart. Green belt. The periodic table of elements. Absolutely right. Good. Go, Sean. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. Teams, the pronghorn antelope is the fastest animal in North America. Far faster than it has to be. It can outrun any predator. But at one time, this fastest cat on earth right now in Africa lived here. Um, Stephen. Um, Maryland? Oh, no, no. Um, Canada? No. Remember the category. Oh. Zoo parade. We want an animal. Green belt, the pronghorn antelope can outrun any animal here. In fact, it is too fast, but at one time it had to outrun what very fast cat that now lives in Africa that once lived here. Cheetah. That's it, good. All right, good comeback. Go, red. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, you might have heard of the term fracking. Fracking is when companies put water under pressure into the earth to try to get loose natural gas and oil. By doing that, in the state of Oklahoma, it is causing these geological events to occur. Scott Sean Hills. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. Andres, thank you for your assist. Nicely done. Go green. Um, Dateline science for 15. Dateline science for 15 points. Teams, Edwin Hubble, for whom the Edwin Hubble telescope is named, and also who came up with the expanding theory of the universe, never won a Nobel Prize. He couldn't, because what field has no Nobel Prize for it? Space. Steven. Space. Give me a little more, more information. Atmosphere. Judges, no. What, what, what are we doing? No. OK. Green belt, what field has no Nobel Prize for it? Space engineering. Uh, astronomy. astronomy. Astronomy is what we were after. You guys danced around it, but not quite. The judges weren't satisfied. Nice try. Go green. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, if you are thrown off your bicycle, like I was, and you hit the ground hard, you can, and often do, break your clavicle, which is another name for this bone. Ankle. Steven. Ankle. Not ankle. Nope. The clavicle is another name for what bone, Sean? And again, you're supposed to help them out. Give them some suggestions. Talk to them, Josh. It's the collarbone. The collarbone is the clavicle. Try again, Stephen. Science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points is a multiple choice question. Teams, the magic mushrooms in Alice in Wonderland, if you ever read that story, made Alice very, very small or very, very tall when she ate them, mimicking the growth hormone that is naturally produced in your sebaceous glands, pituitary glands, or pancreas. Stephen. Pituitary? Yes, sir. Pituitary gland, the master gland. Nicely done. Green. Green. Uh, Dateline science for 20. Dateline science for 20 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please, students. This is a view of Pluto. And the underside of Pluto, called the planitia, the planes, is named 
for this satellite that was launched by the Russians in 1957 that started the space race. What was the name of that satellite that they launched? Name was Sputnik. Try again, Green. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, baby animals are called calves or pups or cubs, but baby plants, when they first come out of the seed and get their first leaves, are known as these. They're all known as these. Saplings? Not quite. Not Good try. Not saplings. A Sean? A sprout. Not a sprout. A seedling. Oh. A seedling was what we were looking for. Go again, Green. Josh was going to say that. Go, go, Sean. Zoo breed for 20. Oh. Uh, uh, who's, uh, is it uh, Steven's turn? Is it green? Yeah. It's green. I'm sorry. Steven. Zoo breed for 20. Zoo breed for 20 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. Animals like kangaroos that belong to the order marsupials, it's perfectly named because in Latin, a marsupium is one of these. Steven. A pouch? Yeah, it's a pouch. Good answer. Green. Green things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, we all know about photosynthesis. That's when green plants take reactants and they make oxygen and sugar. At night, they flip the switch. They take that sugar, they burn it up with the oxygen to get energy. The process at night is not called photosynthesis. It's called this. Um, lunar synthesis? Uh, who's ringing in? Did anybody ring? Lunar synthesis. Steven? Lunar synthesis? Not lunar synthesis. Good try. Sean, any idea? The reverse of photosynthesis. It's called respiration. Respiration, same thing we do when we breathe. We burn up uh, energy. We create energy by burning up our foods with oxygen. Go green. Body systems for 20. For 20 points. Teams, if you get a blood transfusion and the blood is bad, it's tainted, you could contract the C version of this H-initialed liver disease. Hepatitis. Hepatitis, nicely done. Advertised on television all the time. A great threat, especially if you are traveling. Go green. Body systems for 25. For 25 points in body systems, your question is as follows. If you got your iPod on and you're walking down the street and you're moving to the music, you got your earbuds and they're sticking in what canal? What's that canal called, Scotch Town Hills? Ear canal. Uh, another name for it, please. Um, eardrum? No, uh, I don't know. Good try, good try. Come on, get, get yourself 25 points here. What's this canal called where your earbuds are? It's called the auditory canal. Auditory, like audio, visual. Go green. Deadline signs for 25. They line for 25 points. All right, teams, you probably heard about this guy. You might have seen him on TV shows. He is the modern version of Thomas Edison. He's a great inventor. He has a company called SpaceX, where he sends rockets into space, not with NASA, on his own. And he has built a new car called Tesla. And he is building a giant plant in Nevada to make these giant batteries that you can use in your homes in the future. Forget about electricity. His first name is Elon and his last name is the same word that is the scent gland on a deer. What's his name? Elon? Yep. Um, what you got? Um, I don't know. Elon Musk. Musk is his name. All right, we're down to a couple questions left. Come on, Steve. Um, let's get physical for 20. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, if you go downtown Washington to DuPont Circle and you're walking on the sidewalk, there are metal plates in the sidewalk that are converting your footfalls into this active kind of energy. Kinetic. Good. Kinetic energy, and they're going to change that into electricity. So you are lighting up the street lights while you are walking on the streets. Pretty cool. Green. Tw zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor. Come on, green belt. Don't give up on me. Don't give up. These birds are called nanes. That's the state bird of Hawaii. But those birds are related to the birds we see around here all the time, and they poop everywhere. What are they, Scotchtown Hills? Goose. More specifically. Um, a duck. We know. Mm, nope. Greenbelt? Name that bird. Pastor Beatrice. Beatrice. Um, Canadian 
um, geese. Yes, indeed, the Canada goose. Good job, Beatrice. All right. Green, we've got two questions left. Which one? Let's get physical for 25. For 25 points. Teams, if you're trying to whiten your teeth and you get that whitening toothpaste, the whitener is H2O2. That's the formula for what better known substance to brighten your teeth. Fluoride. Not fluoride. Good try, not fluoride. What do you think, Green Belt? Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Last question, Science Pope Brief for 25 points. Teams, if instead of buying a head of lettuce for your salad, you buy bagged leaves it for your salad, be careful. Because what kind of bacterium have we found in those bags of, of leaves, those salad leaves? What kind of bacterium? You've heard of it. Salmonella. Salmonella. That's the end of the show. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science But What a great game we had here today. We're very proud of our players. Everybody gave their all. And uh, our final tally is Greenbelt 115, Scott Sunhills 205. Congratulations to Andres and Steven and Emmanuel. Steve, you're the man. Great job here today, Andres and Manuel, terrific. And look at the young ladies in the back, they're waving already. That's the shadow team in waiting, Esther and Kari and Noel, and the two Jennifers, Miss Taylor, and also our Miss, Miss Doris. Thank you for always being here and sending us such great teams here. And Greenbelt, let's see some big smiles over here. You never gave up. Beatrice, you came through when you needed to come through. Sean and Josh, nice to have you here. Noah, let's give them a hand, huh? Let's give them all a great hand, wonderful. Ms. Stagg is here, the new vice principal at Greenbelt, former teacher of the year. Boy, are they lucky to have you. And Lisa Hemsworth, thank you for all you do, getting this team ready. We love having Greenbelt here. We love Greenbelt. We love you too. Hope to see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye now.